Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to RLCS Overtime. It's me, Flannable Carpet, and I'm here to break some stuff down. We had some incredible plays throughout land, some of the best individual player performances that I think I've ever seen out of anyone at such a competitive stake, but one that is definitely to mention, Squishy Muffin's shot against Method, something that I think is etched in everyone's brains, the loudest I've ever heard a live audience go, and we're just gonna kick it right off the bat. Squishy Muffins, he couldn't do it alone, he did it alone, but he did have some support. So something that was really obvious, not obvious, I guess I should say, really um, easy to forget is that he did have Torment here. Torment was there getting ready for the pass, so he's Squishy, he's essentially, his thought process is, okay, what do I do? Keep my options open. I'm gonna try and center it for a teammate, maybe take a shot. And then he also wants to go up the ceiling to give him an option of a delayed flip. But he also had a challenge from a lot. So a lot's the one that kind of started him, started Squishy's momentum. A lot needed to challenge this or else Squishy would just have all the room to play. You see how far Magnus is on the other side of the pitch. So he needed to challenge it, and I think that was probably a good idea. A little further than he'd like to be, but he still forced Squishy Muffins to make some sort of decision. Sadly, it'd be the best decision he ever made in his entire life. We're gonna see Squishy come off the ceiling. He makes that delayed decision. He doesn't want to be able to get contested, and the reason you fall off the ceiling is so that you have that delayed flip. For those of you that have never seen it before, understand the mechanic. If you fall off of the surface or you push off of the surface, you have a flip whenever you want. You can use it whenever. Usually you have a certain amount of time from when you jump, but if you fall off the surface, that is not the case. So Squishy Muffin sees Magnus is coming up to him and we'll get to see it from his perspective soon enough. Don't you worry your pretty little heads. You're gonna see Magnus come and try and contest it and you have Metzonaris over here trying to push this across. He wants to cover the angles. They attack it as a two-man team, but they don't want to double commit. It doesn't matter though, Squishy's gonna delay this touch as much as he can, get the flip, and you can see Matt's just a deer in the headlights. There is absolutely nothing he can do, but when we watch it from Squishy's perspective, you'll actually notice, honestly, there's really not he could have done, even if he had tried his hardest, they would have had to do something incorrect. So you'll notice, what is Squishy's thought process coming here? He's got someone on the backboard, he's got Magnus trying to save boost, trying to get the momentum and come across, and he's got Metzenaris over here down on the back corner. They wanna cut off as many angles to the shot and they don't wanna double commit. So what do you do? You have Magnus is gonna come up first. When Squishy keeps dragging this out, you'll have Magnus come up first to try and do it. He wants to cut off as many angles as possible. So what is he doing right now? Well, he expects Squishy to take the shot. He knows he's going for a ceiling shot, getting the delayed flip. So he wants to cut off as much angle as possible. So he's gonna fly across in front of him, assuming Squishy will flip it down into it, and then Metanaris is doing the same. So if you wanna talk about essentially angles on the net that Squishy has right now. So right now, open and available to him, you wanna go either behind Metanaris over there, or maybe somewhere up over here, essentially right behind his, his car, where you can't see. Now, getting it over there behind Metzenars, he even Metz knows that's not very possible with the angle that he has, even with that delayed flip. But little did he know that he'd somehow be able to find this angle behind Magnus. So watching Magnus fly across to Kingdom Come, he doesn't know what's happening, but Metz didn't have a choice, right? You don't want to double commit, because the moment you double commit is the moment that you leave it wide open for, remember, as you noticed, Torment, I didn't cover him earlier, but he's coming in from the middle. He's ready and waiting for either a 50-50 here or a pass off from Squishy, but Squishy saw the opportunity. Opportunity. So Metz waited. The moment that Magnus flew across, Metz knew he had to start this jump. But if you'll notice that the way Squishy attacked this ball, the way he came at it, he's now getting underneath it. When previously they all looked at him, he was above the ball, he would only be able to strike it down at the net. Now he's actually managed to boost his card underneath it, be upside down, so his first flip is actually going to shovel it up and he actually will keep the altitude on the ball when you watch him take this shot directly at the net into the corner. So there's really in the scheme of playing Rocket League at the tier that we know, there's not a lot Metzenaris could have done because he needed to wait for Magnus to come across. And Magnus needed to try and pull a decision out of Squishy. When you watch the replay, you'll get to see the audience's reaction a bit in this. Squishy just waiting as patiently as possible. And with this much on the line, I cannot believe he had that in him. You see everyone's minds get absolutely blown. I remember when I saw this come on the screen, this kid who was just, he was speechless. He had no idea what was going on. The loudest I've ever heard a live audience was when he made this goal. Whether you're a fan of Method or a fan of Cloud9, everyone's a fan of incredible Rocket League plays, and this was just some of the coolest things to see. Now, if we watch that again from the beginning all the way through with no stops, you can just see how flawless, beautiful, it flowed so well. I don't want to, I don't need to talk it up anymore. You guys can do it yourself. Well, after Magnus flew past it, I think Metzenaris knew exactly what was going to happen. There's nothing he could do about it. Metzenaris knew. But even going, even as their opponents, I'm pretty sure Method had immense amounts of respects. Everyone understood how much skill that took and to be able to execute that at land of all places in a potential elimination match for yourself. He had support if he needed to. He did have torment at the midfield, but it doesn't matter. Squishy did it all on his own. 
Now, we're going to go on a quick break, but when we come back, myself, Quinn Lobdell, and Wei Punk are going to reminisce a bit of the fun memories of this last land, so don't go anywhere. Huh?